Hello you guys and welcome back to the next video in the decorate your or paint your train case series. Um, so this one is about the inside and as I mentioned earlier I'm gonna uh, this one is actually um, in really good condition. I need to like I got a lot of sequins in here I need to kind of wipe out but um, I kind of was going back and forth on what I'm going to do here because, let me move you in closer a little bit. Oh, you can see them right here. These are little pockets and they can actually hold paint is what I was thinking. You know, you could hold paint in them or you could put washi tape if you wanted to um, bring washi tape with you or um, anything like that. So I really, now they do come out on the bottom so nothing like you know that would be small could fall through but um, I really want to keep these pockets in here because they are really in good condition and they I think they can be useful and we got two on each side so um, but there's also some staining in here so I want to cover the bottom here um, and then on the top let me move it up a little bit here it's actually in great condition as well but I want to create like a whimsical I'm gonna keep the mirror and then I kind of want to create like a little whimsical um, border around the mirror. So I think what I'm going to do first is grab some paint and um, and paint the the uh, inside of it. Now I know the outside is pink uh, is blue, so I think I might come in here. Um, I did, I've been debating whether I want to come in here with the same shade of blue or a pink. Um, because a lot of it I'm going to be covering up anyway. So I think what I'm going to do is come in here with a light pink and um, and paint the inside. And then I'm going to put a piece of heavy cardstock down here on the bottom. So let me mix my paint and I'll show you uh, pretty much what I'm going to do with the paint. So um, let me show you what colors I'm going to use here. Okay, so basically I mix this... Um, this bubble gum it's kind of a light pink color with uh, with white right up there you can see that and I'm just going to take a a pretty um, pretty big brush and I'm going to mix them together here and kind of um, kind of create a like a really light pink like I said I'm probably I'm going to be covering up most of this pink and so I'm just going to come in here and paint the inside. I'm also going to be painting the inside trim right here. And so that's going to be my base coat. Um, now I wanted to also, uh, this, this, train, this particular train case, kind of, remember how we talked about has that musty smell? This one has that smell. So I think using putting this coat of paint down is going to help... Um, eliminate that smell and I also will um, um, so it'll kind of, yeah so it'll eliminate that smell but also I wanted to say um, you if this could also be areas that you um, that you um, that you could pay, you could add material if you wanted to do material I'm gonna be real loosely about my um, paint in fact I might add some water because this is kind of a really thicker paint and I'm just really wanting to put down a thin layer of um, paint so I just squirted some water on there just to just to make it real easy and um, not too thick and that way because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using um, some tissue paper and some cardstock and um, some maybe some napkins to cover this area all right well I'm gonna finish this up and then we'll be back to, to decorate all right you guys so let me see if I can move in a little bit close or show you the completed painting that I did and then down here, I kind of, you're going to see this, see how I didn't paint all the way in, but I left these exposed here. Um, 
And then I also cut down a piece of cardstock. Um, this is that really cute line from uh, Echo Park Paper Company. It's called uh, Imagine, Imagine That. And it's actually, um, it's one of their older one, but I went ahead and ordered like several packs of it because I love it so much. It's so cute. It has so many, lots of girly things in there and lots of imagination. Um, and so I kind of went back and forth on what to do for the bottom one, but I went ahead and decided to pick um, unicorns. So I also um, didn't paint, let me show y'all, I did not paint the fully because I knew I was going to be adding cardstock down below. And I kind of debated on, and I might actually do that now, is just kind of pop this in here because um, two things. One, I'm going to be adding paint and stuff in here so it could get dirty and this could be an easy, you know, take out and change it out. And also, if I ever get tired of the bottom being in here, I can always take it out and change it out. So, I think I'm just going to pop this in here for now and not glue it down. And then later on, if I decide to glue it down, I'm going to use this um, matte medium or the other one that I showed you guys at the beginning. Um this decoupage one to uh to glue it down so uh but for now i'm just going to pop it in here because it, it is it is pretty stable in there and then that way i have some choices so okay so the next thing i'm going to do is um i'm going to kind of cover this edges up i'm going to decorate this part up and then we'll come in and do the base because really and truly the only thing i plan on doing um, to the bottom right now is um, is adding some trim and I think I don't think I'm gonna really be adding a whole lot more I know this is kind of a look more white but I kind of like that look to it um, but I, I you know the reason I'm debating is because I'm planning on filling this thing up and I don't want to worry about things falling off or getting messed up um, but again it's always a work in progress so you can definitely add things as you go along so let's go ahead and make sure everything I'm doing is in the camera so we're gonna work on this section here I went back and forth my mirror dirty I went back and forth on what I want to do but I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of decorate around here and then in my one um, oh my one little camper one my camper a uh, little small suitcase that I put together. I have a little place in the front here that I added this ribbon which is not really stable and I need to kind of go back in and fix it. But I like to be able to add um, different pop different things in here. So when you open it up it could be you know different themed or um, you could change out. I like to stick postcards in there or journal cards or anything like that. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do like an elastic cross here to where I can pop things in there. Um, to change it up as I as I want to so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna work with this matte medium and I'm just gonna get a just pick a paintbrush that will fit down in there that sometimes my paintbrushes I'm not very I laugh because I'm not very the best paintbrush mom and so sometimes I don't wash my paintbrushes good enough and they get real stiff so this is one that I I want one that I'm gonna be able to move around in and that is kind of got a flat side to it and one that I can um, um, stick in the lid here because I'm not going to pour any of this out. I'm just going to kind of stick it in the lid. So, can did y'all get all that? And I don't want to tape my camera. Okay. So the other thing, so I've got this tissue paper. Um, it's got, um, I think I got it in a gift set or something like that. Um, but you can use you can use cardstock. The thing about cardstock is not as user friendly when you're um, when you're doing like projects like this because it's the flexibility and I'll show you why this and what I it also what I like about this tissue paper is it's transparent practically so you you're still going to see the pink come out so I'm just ripping some pages here and I think I'm actually going to kind of come in and cover that seal up over there where it it opens up right here again it may not be just perfect but I'm gonna do little pieces of paper so 
because I'm not going to be covering the whole entire piece. That's one of the reasons why I painted it um, pink, and also I wanted the pink to come through. So I'm just kind of ripping up some paint, ripping up this into thin little um, sheets here. So I'm going to start here. Make sure I'm getting this in the camera here. Yeah. So okay. <laughs> this was kind of a difficult. Uh, I didn't realize my space was going to be so small. So I, I, as you can see, I'm just coming in here and gluing. See how easy it is to glue on. It's very um, having tissue paper is very very friendly. But it looks. Um, let me zoom in for you here. It just looks so cute with the polka dots and you can see the pink through there okay and so I'm just going to kind of do that I'm going to go ahead and see what it's going to look like if I was to ooh, if I was to cover that corner up um, usually I put put my um, paintbrush in my mouth <laughs> while I'm trying to do both hands Maybe I should get a little bit thicker piece here. So you can see it, it kind of like will cover that crease up. I think I just spilled glue everywhere. Um, cover that crease up. But what you're going to see too is as I get in here and cover this up, then I'm also going to be adding some ribbons and some trims in here. So you'll get to you can definitely use that as well. So I'm going to put it on both sides here and let's see how that looks. If I just take this piece and go just like that. And like if it get a wrinkle in there, it's okay. Because by the time it dries, you're not going to really see that wrinkle anyway. And by the time I layer up stuff on this, won't see it either so there you have it so I'm gonna go ahead and get this completed and then we'll pop back on and uh, move on to the next step okay so I've got my tissue paper back here I wanted it to dry it's still a little damp to the touch but I think it'll be it'll be fine so we're gonna add um, I've, I had bought some um, kits off of Etsy a while back. They were like hair um, to make little headbands, but they had this elastic in it. So, and I know you can buy these um, by the yard, but I'm going to add this. That way they have a little bit of elastic to put the photos in. So let me find my scissors. And I've got my hot glue gun going. I was kind of debating whether I should use that, um, that trim but I think with this I'm going to use my hot glue I always use extra strength so um, which I have it heated up right here and I think what I'm going to do is put the pink down first and then come back with the floral and put the floral on top so I'm going to kind of just estimate right here Put a, now this isn't my handy dandy favorite hot glue gun which I love but it um, it does it is a hot temp one and that's so I notice when you're doing jobs like this um, that you really want it to stick hot is the best um, if it doesn't stick over time say for instance um, it, it starts coming undone I'm gonna I'll use that E6000 to um, you gonna see that I'll use the E6000 to really come in here and get it to stick but I think this is pretty good oops I see it kind of coming undone I may have to come in here with some um, heavier glue and get it to stick better. Now the other train cases I've done with hot glue and they seem to be 
They seem to hold up pretty good. But I know over time, and I'll show you exactly, I know you, you guys know what I'm talking about as far as putting in photos. Now, I would have done E6000 already, but I don't have any. I threw mine out because I hadn't used it in a while, and um, it wasn't, it, it didn't, it was clogged, and so... And when I mean a while, I mean a few years. Which, uh, out of glue. Okay, I'm gonna let that set for a little bit here. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is um, I went ahead and I had this really pretty uh, tool that is, um, that is, it's got sparkles in it. And so I was kind of debating, I kind of wanted to go around, I put a bow in it because I was playing around with it. I have more of it somewhere. And um, if I decide to put the bow back in, I can do that too. But I'm going to just make it go around the edges just to kind of add some texture and some sparkle. And so I'm just going to come up. Actually, I might start here at the bottom. And I'm just going to... My hot glue, my glue stick popped out of there. So I'm just gonna add a piece, some glue right here. And this is where I've always just kind of taken my end of my scissors, because I know that if I was to touch this, it would burn my hand. So I'm just gonna kind of add, use my, tap my scissors like that to get it to stick in there. And then I'm just going to loosely kind of add this to the to the out. Oh, I'm going to go around the mirror with this. I'm going to leave that open in case I do have to come back in here and add some E6000. That way I can get to those elastic pieces. So I'm just going to kind of glue around those. But this is kind of where it's really fun to play around and, and I've used a lot of vintage lace in mine or especially if you have a piece of, you know, um, lace or I had some incomplete pieces that my grandmother had embroidered, not embroidered, but um, crocheted. And so I use those in, in another one of my train cases. But I think this kind of gives it, to me, it gives it a little bit of girly sparkle. The tool, I love tool. And so, kind of just gives it a little bit of texture. Again, you don't have to go too overboard if you don't want to on your stuff, but I love going overboard. <laughs> Ow. Okay. So, I've got hot glue all over my fingers now. 
Um, so now I'm kind of like, okay, what would I like to do next? I have some of this eyelash ribbon that I pull I just kind of pulled out a bunch of examples of different things I had. I'm thinking about putting those up, which I think would look kind of cute. You open it up and you've got this cute little eyelash. I made this little um, jewelry piece. Did y'all see that where I had added the eyelash up there? I was thinking about just kind of doing this. But I wanted to see if this would work if I was to do that. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, I wonder if there's a way I could adhere this ahead of time. So that way it kind of goes together. I probably have to glue it. Okay. I love this eyelash um, ribbon. They used to have a t bunch of it at Hobby Lobby, and I bought. That's where I bought most of mine. I used to make. Um, I used to make little ornament stuff with it. And um, the other day I went there, and they don't have any anymore. So I'm sure you can find it on online or on Etsy or something like that. And again, if stuff starts coming, this is pretty good. I haven't had any problems with this because it is kind of a material, like a coarse material, so it grasps better. Um, this may be kind of... I think what I'm going to do is I have these little cute die cut flowers that my friend cut for me. So, and I also have some of these from Leftover. I should have had a couple colors. Um, oh, here's the pink. So let me see which one I like better. I think I like the little die cut ones. So she made me a whole bunch of them, and um, I haven't used them yet, so this is fun. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take this, and I'm going to take my flower, and I'm going to just smash that flower on that bead, on that string where that string of bead came from. Do the same thing on this side. Kind of get that string in there and then smash my flower on top of it. Kind of holds it in place a little. Oops, maybe not. Oh, I lost my center. Just add some glue around that flower. I love felt. Okay, so we're going to hope that's in there. I mean, that really got on there. Fairly good. And actually, I could come and add a few more of these flowers. Let's see what other colors I got. Um, just to add more security on them more secure. Oh, center's come out. I remember her telling me that the center's come out. So I'm just going to go make an X across the center. hesitant about using the yellow but I love the way the yellow looks with that navy in the middle okay so I 
let's add some to the other side. looks almost like that that um, that color purple I used yesterday in the details of the of the cover I mean of the case itself and then we're gonna cut in here and cut this these extra little strings off too like that all right and you know I could I, I'm gonna hold off on this for just I may go by and pick some up um, tomorrow if I'm out we'll see how that looks you can add or you can add a pictures in there um, let's see what else do I have I could oh my girls I could add a girl in there I think we may make one of these tomorrow when we wrap up ours so that kind of gives you an idea of what my thought process is. Or I have this little cute cutie with her pinwell. Oh, that looks so cute. So you kind of get an idea. But what I think I'm going to do is um, tomorrow we're still going to be working on some details. But I think even this would be cute if you came in here and added flowers on there. I think that'd be really cute. I think that's what I want to do. But I'm gonna go ahead and go by and get some E6000 first, so um, so that way we can add that to the top there. Now I had also had a ton of ribbon, but I really think if I start adding the flowers in there, that will look that will look really cute. I love this. I love how this all turned out. Okay, um, I could even add flowers that may be a little too much but yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'll, I'm gonna add flowers to those just to secure those and bring the flowers down here and like add one right here too just because that little piece if I tuck it in a little bit okay so one more thing I'm gonna do before we wrap up this video and that is to add trim on the inside pockets. So, let me get my space picked up here a little bit. I had all kind of fun ideas. I even thought about, about, oops, I bought these on. Oh, let me bring you in here too. Okay. So I'm gonna try to turn this to the side here. And um, did y'all see? I posted this on Instagram. I got a cute little journal that um, I'm gonna make a cute little junk journal to go in here. Okay, can y'all see what I'm gonna be doing? Okay, so I had um, I had bought this a while back um, at. Walmart. They had a whole bunch of this and I just fell in love with this ribbon. It's pom-poms. It's all different colors. So, um, I want to add it to here. And actually, I think I'm going to do the pink on one side. So we're going to go ahead and trim this off because I want to actually use the pink on this side. And then we'll see on the other side. But I think with this one, I'm going to actually use the um, the fabric fix because um, since it's on fabric, I think it'll be I think it'll be just fine. So we're going to just squirt some on here. And my I had a little bit of concern if it's going to expand. But I think it'll be just fine 
with the you know expand with the pom poms. So I'm just actually this stuff works really good, and I put it on the elastic part, and then I'm just squish I'm just squishing it into the side here. And they it says on here that it's a it does grasp it quickly, and I haven't had any problems with it not. And so I'm going to come in here and do the same thing on this side. We're just going to add it on here. Like so. And then. Add it like that. Where's my scissors? And actually, we could, I don't want to put anything that's not going to expand. I don't want to pull on it yet, but um, just to kind of add, these are flat enough where I think they, they would kind of combine with that too. So I'm going to go ahead and just add add these on there. Do a green one and let's do a purple. Oh, my glue is getting stringy. Okay. Perfect. So we'll see. We're going to let that dry, and tomorrow when we come back, we'll give it the old tug, tug test. Make sure. Whoops. Oh, I see. Yeah. It. It. Did you see that popped off there because of the tug test? So I think what I'm going to do is cut this in half here and that way it can expand more that was my concern with that is that it wouldn't allow if I wanted to put a couple couple um, things of glue, tape in there or you know like say for instance if I wanted to bring my glue I want to be able to fit that in there so I don't know, that may not be, may not work. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's a bummer. Well, if all else, we're going to have it, maybe if I expand it out as far as I can and then glue where it goes. This stuff is getting stringy on me here. Okay. Let's see this side. That side's a little bit more forgiving. But I think if I leave it where it can, it's just fitting in the middle, and it gives a little bit of elastic pull, I think that'll be good. I might even put a flower here. We'll see. Okay, so let's move to the other side. And should we change up our design? I kind of like the I like the um, pom pom so. So let's see what other color. I think I want to do more of this um, yellow. Oops, got myself a knot going on here. Or should I do more of the purple and the blue? Let's see my yellow. Oh, I like the yellow. Okay. I'll just cut it off right here where this one's stuck. 
Actually, we could start right here. Okay. So now that we know the tug war, I'm going to actually give it a little bit more leniency when it comes to gluing it down. See, so like maybe pull it out here a little bit. My glue is really clumping up there. Okay, how are you guys? Can y'all see that okay? Okay. Um, give it the old tug and then add the trim. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it just like I did the last one. That way. still have some leniency on there. Okay. Actually kind of looks cute too with that more of the pom-pom look on it. All right. Then we're going to take this other side, do the same thing. And I'm putting, I know it's hard for you guys to probably see, but I'm putting a fair amount of glue on here because I do not want the trim to come off and if it does we add more glue to it <laughs> and my hands are getting sticky but that's part of having fun right getting your hands messy okay So we got the glue on here like so. We're gonna come in here and trim this off. Like. Oops. I need a napkin. I have some wet ones in here too, somewhere for jobs like this. <laughs> um okay. So we're going to add some flowers. What side did we, we did a green and a purple, right? Let's do an orange, well, a pink. We're going to do a pink on this side. Did I do hot glue on that other one? I think I did. Pink over here, and then what other color? Whoops! Should I do a green or this navy? I think I. Ooh, I love this. The navy with the pink. I love those colors combo. So let's see what we got here for this project. Also, um, I don't know if you noticed this part right here. I did end up putting, um, it's still kind of moist. Um, I did end up putting a, um, that's a napkin. So I thought that was pretty cool. How I wanted to show you guys how a napkin look as well. Um, but let me move you guys in closer here. Besides the mess, which we're going to take out, but I will just deal with that tomorrow when we go to add our other finished touches on the train case. But you see the inside looks so cute and festive and I may add another little piece of pom-poms or something on there. I don't know. Or, yeah, because I, I think 
you know, I could come in here and cut one of these off and just, just add it on there to make it look a little more complete. Or I could always do another flower. Um, so I did that. We have, um, and this will all clean up tomorrow. We have this cute topping here with the make-believe little jewelry. We're going to come in here and add the special glue so we get a really good um, secure uh, fit on there. We're going to add more flowers here tomorrow after that gets done. And then we're going we're gonna, to um, add our sparkle because we have to have sparkle. So we're going to wrap it up tomorrow. The train case so that should be it um, if we don't get it done tomorrow which I think we probably will because this is this is kind of it and and again as you are playing with your train case um, you can add as you go along I mean you may I know I have some really cute little die cuts and I know with these girls I'm gonna be trading them out periodically that's going to be part of my cuteness part um, part of this kit. I mean, part of this train case. So um, you can have more charms. Anyway, it's it's an ongoing um, it's an ongoing pro um, project. But I think what I'm going to do is come in here and show you guys how I outline in black, finish this up, and then add some sparkle, and then we're going to seal it up, seal the seal the actual train case up. Um, I probably won't seal the inside of this because I've kind of, I think over time I might add things. That's what I'm envisioning, like adding more die cuts and things that inspire me on the inside. As long as they lay flat, I think I'd be feel better. This part doesn't not bother me, but, um, and then I may do a, a special bonus video, a real quick one of showing me what I put in there. Maybe I'll do that too. All right, you guys. So it's all coming together. It's so cute. And I will see y'all tomorrow as we wrap up our project.